Let's take a moment to talk about what's shaping up to be the most exciting ultralight drone release in years, the DJI Mini 5 Pro. Whether you're a seasoned drone pilot or someone just starting their aerial journey, this model brings upgrades that are hard to ignore. For years, the under 250 grams drone market has been filled with compromise. Yes, you could get portability. Yes, you could avoid regulatory hassles, but you almost always had to trade something off like image quality, battery, life, or gimbal control. That's exactly what the DJI Mini 5 Pro aims to change. This drone isn't just another update, it's a statement. It's DJI saying, yes, we can fit pro-level features into something this light. And now that many of these leaks have been confirmed, it's clear that the Mini 5 Pro isn't just catching up, it's setting a new standard. A leap over the Mini 4 Pro let's begin, where this story really starts with the DJI Mini 4 Pro, which itself was already impressive. It brought forward many smart features that raised the bar for what a sub-250G drone could do. But the Mini 5 Pro, it takes that to another level. The most obvious upgrade and maybe the most important is the sensor size. While the Mini 4 Pro had a 1 1.3-inch sensor, the Mini 5 Pro is said to feature a full 1-inch sensor. That change isn't just for spec sheets, SIT has real impact. You'll notice sharper details, wider dynamic range, and far better performance in low light. Imagine shooting during sunset, sunrise, or in cloudy conditions and still getting rich. Clean footage, that's the power of a larger sensor dot. And if you're someone who wants to spend less time editing, this is a big deal. You're getting cinematic level quality straight out of the drone with fewer adjustments needed in post. Extended flight, time fly longer, worry less battery, anxiety is real. Anyone who's flown drones knows the feeling of glancing down at the controller and seeing the remaining minutes tick away. That's one area where DJI seems to have made another meaningful improvement. The Mini 4 Pro could reach up to 47 minutes of flight time if you were using the extended battery. That was already solid. But the Mini 5 Pro leak suggests we could be looking at 50 to 55 minutes. That's unheard of for a drone. Under 250 grams that means fewer interruptions, more time in the air, and most importantly more creative freedom. You won't have to constantly plan your shots around battery limits. You can explore, you can try again, you can experiment. And in those spontaneous situations, where light changes fast or something exciting suddenly happens, you won't be caught off guard. A gimbal that actually rotates all the while let's talk about movement. The gimbal on the Mini 4 Pro was excellent, but there was one limitation it couldn't do 360 degree rotation. And while that might sound minor, for creators, it actually meant missing out on a whole range of creative possibilities. Enter the Mini 5 Pro with full gimbal rotation. You can unlock things like orbit shots, dynamic panning and seamless vertical transitions. That's a massive advantage if you're filming in tight environments, dramatic landscapes, or doing fast-moving follow shots. Want to shoot vertical video? No need to crop, just rotate. Need smooth footage in all directions? No problem. The gimbal is designed for that. It's not just about stabilization anymore. It's about giving creators complete control over their visual storytelling. Built-in storage, finally. Have you ever gone out for a shoot? Set up the perfect angle, got everything ready and, then realized you forgot your SD card. It's the kind of mistake that ruins a day. The Mini 5 Pro helps fix that. It comes with 32GB of built-in storage, sure. That's not enough for an entire shoot, especially in 4000, but it's a solid safety net. Enough for emergency clips, enough for those once-in-a-lifetime moments you won't be grounded anymore. Just because you forgot a tiny piece of plastic. dot, And for beginners or casual users, that internal memory could be a lifesaver. Voice control, hands-free flying, might be real and other major potential. Upgrade is voice control. If this feature makes it into the final version, it's going to be a game changer. Imagine flying your drone and being able to say, start recording, or take photo, or return home, without touching the controller. It's perfect. For content creators who are filming themselves, vloggers, or anyone who wants to operate quickly and smoothly. No more fumbling with buttons, no more awkward finger taps, which is speak and let the drone handle the rest. It's futuristic but also practical the Mini 5 Pro vs DJI Air 3 now that we've compared it to the Mini 4 Pro. Let's look at its bigger sibling the DJI Air 3. The Air 3 is heavier, yes but, it has a dual camera system with both wide and medium telephoto lenses. It offers more flexibility for professional shooters but the Mini 5 Pro starts to close that gap. It has the 1 inch sensor, it has longer battery life, and it's lighter, easier to carry, and flies under most countries regulatory radars. The Air 3 still has a place. If you want zoom capabilities or more creative options in camera, it's hard to beat. But if portability is your top concern, the Mini 5 Pro is coming for that crown. It's nearly pro-level quality in a travel-friendly form. What about Outhel Nano? Plus, one of DJI's key rivals is the Outhel Nano. Plus, it's also under 250 grams and boasts a 1.28-inch sensor. It does a decent job in low light. But here's the problem. Dash software.dji single quotes is strength isn't just in hardware. 
It's in the entire experience. The apps, the smart flight modes, the consistent updates, the tracking systems, Outhole often falls behind in this area. G just feels more polished. Dot active track, quick shots. Now, possibly voice control, these are not gimmicks. They're features that make flying easier, smarter, and more fun. And when you add in DJI's better obstacle avoidance, battery optimization, and years of refinement, it's hard for anyone else to compete. DJI's bigger strategy, redefining lightweight DJI isn't just making cool drones. They're playing the long game. For years, if you wanted real professional video, you had to spend big. The Mavic series, the Inspire line, those were the only options. But not anymore. By putting pro-level features like a 1-inch sensor, 55-minute flight time, and gimbal creativity into a sub-250 grams frame, DJI is saying, you don't have to sacrifice anymore. This is a shift, a big one. The Mini 5 Pro makes it possible for more people, especially solo creators, to produce studio-grade content without the size, weight, and price of traditional pro drones. Under 250 grams, why it still matters. Why does DJI keep staying? Under 250 grams because it matters. A lot. In many countries, drones under this weight don't need to be registered. You don't have to get a license. You don't need to go through testing. That makes it so much easier for people to just fly. Whether you're traveling to another country, capturing landscapes, or just flying around your neighborhood, you want fewer restrictions. And DJI understands that. That's why staying under 250 grams isn't just a marketing move, it's a freedom move. Built for creators. Not just pilots, let's be honest. Drones aren't just flying toys anymore. They're content machines. People aren't just flying for fun, they're filming, sharing, telling stories. And the DJI Mini 5 Pro seems tailor made for that. Vertical video, check gimbal rotation, check voice control, possibly internal recording. Yes, quick release propellers. Absolutely. Everything about this drone feels like it was made for someone who doesn't want to think too hard. Just capture the moment. Whether you're a TikTok creator, YouTuber, travel vlogger, or just someone who wants to make beautiful videos, the Mini 5 Pro is like having a production assistant that flies a new chapter for drones. So where does all this lead? The DJI Mini 5 Pro might be more than just a new product. It might be the start of something new. It proves that small doesn't have to mean weak, that ultralight doesn't mean limited, and that real creators need tools that match their vision, not just their backpack. With a rumored price of around $850 for the base kit and over $1,100 for the Fly More combo, it's not exactly cheap, but... Considering what you're getting how close it comes to the Air 3 and how far ahead it is of most other sub 250G drones it might be the best value drone DJI has ever made, especially for creators who travel light, shoot often, and want quality, without compromise.